And as Shiva said earlier, 13 engines on the center. Those are the ones that gimbal and steer the vehicle. Love this view. These are the 33 Raptor engines at the base of the super heavy booster. I think we can see those wiggles now. We're currently inside 90 seconds. Next major activity, T minus 40 seconds. That is a gate, a decision point. We're waiting. Possibility the propulsion team may need a few minutes. Flight termination system is armed for flight. We're getting ready for T minus one minute and counting. Next, we'll see as we get past T minus 40 seconds for final checks of the vehicle. Okay, you can see the clock has recycled. Flight director has called a hold. We are recycling. For the moment, we'll see where they move the clock back to. They could hold at T minus 40 seconds. They could go to an earlier point. Give us a minute to listen into the nets and we'll see if we can get you more information to share. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing, max Q. lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. Hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be Our set down of the first stage. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shut down, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, 
We light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation, where Starship should separate from the super heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Uh, there. <laughs> and there, as you saw, as we promised, an exciting end to the Starship inaugural integrated test flight. to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> as we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs>